Yo, what's really good? I'm on day ones. Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so we are here. Um, who here remembers when we first started uh, this master's journey? Today is kind of to talk to you about my career and where it's going. A lot of people have been asking uh, if I've applied to CRNA school, if, if that's where I'm going. To be completely honest with you guys, CRNA isn't for me. And I'm actually going to do my master's in nursing informatics. So there are a handful of people who have been following this journey and we are finally on the last class. And in retrospect, it feels like it was way faster than I imagine. I mean, first things first, let, let me show you the books that we're working with. Uh, when we first started informatics classes, um, this is one of the holy grails of the book, McGonagall and Mastrian. And uh, the other book that we are adding to the mix this time since it is Advanced Nursing Informatics is the Handbook of uh, Informatics. Actually really stoked to be finishing this last class only because we start our practicums right after. And I could actually enroll into my um, practicums already. It's just I don't want to be rushed doing all this because uh, that there's just so much work to be had. And need I remind you, while I am in my full-time job, I need to be coming on my days off to uh, fulfill my hours for my practicum. The university that I go to requires 180 hours of practicum and uh, for me to even start my um, capstone so that's about an eight week uh, process another eight week process but you know this is um, it's a big load off of my shoulders because now that we understand a little bit of the administration also the nursing informatics portion um we could go ahead and start uh you know start working toward our capstone and graduation actually really stoked to be starting this process again so so i also want to touch a little bit upon um Anyone who's starting, you know, uh, not not even, not only school but also advanced uh, practice. One thing you want to anticipate is the workload of uh, papers that you will be dealing with. To be honest, when I first started, uh, I didn't expect so much papers that were going to be thrown at me. So weekly papers for up to eight weeks in a total of 10 classes, that is a lot of papers. And the fact that uh, I'm working full time while doing all this, it was it was something that was like that uh, kind of made me something that kind of took me back a little bit but like it kind of also humbled me because I just realized this is a lot of work but uh, you know it's doable it's doable for anyone who feels like they can't do it and let me tell you I, I, I play around a lot I play around a lot and um, it, if I could do it so can you so far I have two B's but the rest are A's so I, I don't even regret getting those B's because there's there's some times where like I, I prioritized my sanity over over uh, what's it called over getting A's and uh, there's nothing wrong with getting a B only because now that you're in your advanced uh, degree it, it, as long as you're getting you know a grade and you're passing then that's all that matters and you're learning something so man it, it, it has been it has been so fast that's all I have to say and uh, I have a lot of you guys to thank who have been there every step of the way asking questions and also being inspired by the things that I put out there and you guys know that um, I always try my best to inspire at least one person with the videos that I create and um, that's pretty much about it so I really do appreciate you guys and I'll try to keep my best to keep you guys informed within the next eight weeks because I start classes tomorrow and I'm just stoked. I'm actually really excited to be to be finishing this up. Because, you know, uh, even though I have to do a practicum, guess what? After my practicum, all I'm doing is just getting ready to do this capstone. So, I'm stoked. <laughs> Alright. Hope you guys are doing great. In the comment section below, let me know how you guys are doing. And um, I'll comment back. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much.